Uh, good morning. This is lecture 15A, the beginning of this week. Uh, we have probably three to four lectures left this week. Uh, probably about a 10, 15 minute lecture today. Uh, there is no quizzes this week. Uh, I'm going to start going through and um, dropping all your low, at least one score from your quiz and reaction quizzes, your lowest score. Um, if you didn't do one, that will be your lowest score, so you'll have that dropped. Uh, but the point of it is um, that's what I, I usually drop that test or that quiz score. Um, your final will be Friday. Uh, other schools, I will be pushing out your, your test probably Wednesday to your instructors. There was one error caught on the study guide, question number eight. It actually asked two questions. Uh, when you look at it, I'm looking, it was like 1839, what ship was taken over? It is referring to the Amistad. I corrected the question on the test. Uh, some reason, two questions got combined into one. Um, so I've corrected that. If you have questions, uh, please come by and ask me or email me. Um, this test is pretty straightforward. The uh, study guide's been out there for a while. Um, but that will be Friday with the makeup days being Monday, Tuesday. I know the sickness is coming down on everyone now. Um, I really wanted to do a pun there if we're down with the sickness, but I would have probably been made fun of. Uh, so eat your clementines at your local grocery store and make sure you're drinking plenty of coffee that keeps you awake. Now, the meaning of freedom. Chapter 15. So what is freedom? And this is where this is post-Civil War. It's going to get into re, uh, Reconstruction. So what visions of freedom the former slaves and slave owners pursue? What were the competing visions of Reconstruction? What were the social and political effects of radical Reconstruction? And what were the main uh, factors in both the North and South for abandonment of Reconstruction? Okay, the meaning of freedom one. Uh, Congressman James A. Garfield, future president, asked, what is freedom? Uh, during Reconstruction, freedom uh, became a, tr uh, a terrain of conflict. This substance open to different um, and contradictory uh, interpretations. First, for blacks, it was the escape from slavery. That was the, at the root of it. That was the most basic element of what is freedom. Henry Adams, an emancipated slave, stated, if I, if I cannot do like a white man, I am not free. Now, so to whites... Ending slavery by itself seemed like a victory. They thought, yay, we've made progress. To blacks, they were very happy to be free, but the reality was if we are not treated as equals, then are we truly free? The reality was that some of these slaves have better lives as slaves than they would as free people. Yeah, some of them did. Some plantations took very good care of their slaves. They still sucked to be a slave, but they took care of the slaves. Uh, families and freedom. Uh, they were now free from white supervision. They had the opportunity uh, to kind of uh, finally be unchaperoned. Free black schools, children were expanded, etc. in the South. Slaves finally had the opportunity to get educated. They will try to locate loved ones all across the country, north and south, trying to stabilize the often broken up uh, and unstable family due to uh, selling and movement. Movement. Uh, church and school, blacks abandoned white controlled religious institutions and will create their own. Uh, blacks flooded, uh, flocked to the school's establishment by northern missionary societies. First black college will be established well. So there is a rapid uh, expansion of rights um, for blacks. The meaning of freedom, too. Political freedom. Anything less than full citizenship would be considered a failure to most uh, blacks. Uh, to demonstrate their patriotism, blacks throughout the South organized Fourth of July celebrations uh, in 1865. Uh, white Southerners would shut them themselves within doors not to be able to see it because they obviously were not happy by what had happened. Uh, political freedom will expand and then it will retract as we'll talk about later. But this is the first true opportunities uh, for slaves that will be starting to come here shortly thereafter. Land, labor, and freedom. Uh, freedom was linked to land ownership and blacks wanted to be able to own land. Some parts of the South, blacks in 1865 seized property insisting that it belonged to them. Uh, white freedom was a birthright to be defended. Um, black freedom was an open-ended process transformation. So, whites viewed 
land ownership as a freedom. And then blacks uh, thought it was an open-ended process of transformation where they could have the ability to own land and to expand themselves. Uh, so when some of these lands are going to be seized from white southerners, they're going to feel like their rights are heavily uh, infringed upon. Masters without slaves. Naturally, the course of logic here, if slaves are in emancipated, what's going to, have to happen to these very large plantations? Are there going to be any workers anymore? No, they're all gone. White Southerners reacted with dismay at the, at the loss of the war. Not only did they lose the war, but many of them lost their, their ability to create and ma mass produce uh, cotton and other cr crops. Nearly two, uh, uh, 260,000 men died for the Confederacy, more than one fifth of the South's adult male population. So, around 15 to 20 percent of the adult male population in the South is killed. Planter families not only lost their slaves, but they, their life savings, and sometimes, many times, the husband never came back or died. Journalist Sidney Andrews stated in 1865 the whites seem wholly unable to comprehend that freedom for the Negro means the same thing as freedom for them. So as the slaves are freed and they're taking things, expanding, uh, the whites thought this was just the worst thing in the South, that they thought they were being trampled on um, and that their rights, they, their life rights were no longer. Uh, free labor vision. The victorious Republican North tried to implement its own vision of freedom. Northern capital and migrants would energize the economy by coming to the South to help it go. The Freedom's Bureau was created to establish a working for free labor system. It also provided a lot of clothing and items for freed slaves. Uh, planters wanted to establish a labor system as close to slavery as possible. Okay, so as this restructuring goes, the planters realize there's an opportunity. Yes, slavery is done, but they can impose slavery-like elements on these blacks if they if they do it correctly, uh, which initially they won't, but as we see, this will, will, will come to pass. O.O. O. Howard was the director of the Freedoms Bureau, comparable to the New Deal in scope, uh, supposed to establish schools, provide the aid to the poor, and age settle disputes between whites and blacks and secure the former slaves and white unionists equal treatment before the courts. Uh, this will last for about five years from 1865 to 1870. By 1869, nearly 3,000 schools serving more than 150,000 pupils were created in the South. Also ran several hospitals established during the war, provided medical care and drugs to both blacks and whites. Uh, so it was a pretty good operation. It's not long lived, uh, but it does do a lot of good. The medium of freedom four. Uh, the failure of land reform. One provision gave authority to divide abandoned and confiscated land into 40 acre plots for rental and eventual sale to the former slaves. President Johnson ordered nearly all land in federal hands to be returned to its former slaves. Uh, epic failure made farm, former slaves dependent on former masters. Uh, though in scope, this was probably a decent idea, it just failed miserably. Sharecropping, crops divided, compromise between former slaves and planters, over the years became more oppressive and kept blacks from social mobility. So essentially, Stuff's going to be turned over to the blacks. It's going to fail because they can't produce. These old planters are going to come in, and they're going to basically take over, and it's going to return to the sharecropping, like to pay their rent or pay their, 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 their living expenses and stuff. They're going to share the crops, and it's going to get worse and worse, and it's going to be a, a way of oppressive. And returning back to that old hierarchical system, though they are free, uh, economically they're dependent on the, their, the, the old slave masters. The white farmer, the collapse of the yeoman farmer, um, found himself more and more in debt, crop lean, uh, lean system credit extended by merchants to tenants based on future crops. Uh, even as the rural south stagnated economically, southern cities experienced remarkable growth after the Civil War though. So the small rural farmer, the poor farmer, is going to find themselves in heavy plight. It's going to be bad. It's not going to be good. Uh, but cities, for the first time in the south, are actually going to start to expand and grow. They're also going to get their first signs of major industry and the South will be reborn through this period. Uh, the meaning of freedom five, aftermath of slavery. The United States was not only society to confront the problem of transition from slavery and freedom, some same stereotypes as a black across the world. We're not the only country uh, that experiencing this. Just we obviously it's more relevant to us because we had the Civil War and it was major and epic. 
Plantations either fell, fell to pieces or continued to operate with a new labor force, that sharecropping uh, coming in. Only the United States is slaves two years after end of slavery given the right to vote. Uh, this is something unique. Slaves in the United States were given the right to vote um, uh, two years later. Uh, and that's something uh, that other free slaves around the world did not have. Uh, but the struggle reconstruction between Congress President Andrew Johnson is going to take a lot of twists uh, and turns. It's not going to be an easy process, uh, and it's going to be kind of brutal um, at times. So as a little recap for today, this is all. We're only going to do the meeting of Freedom Wall, this section of the day. And I'm going to post the PowerPoint right after this. As you can see, there is changes. Blacks are free, but are they truly free? That is something that's going to become uh, debated for a while. And as Reconstruction drags on and we see the battle in Congress between the President, Radical Republicans, Moderate Republicans, Democrats and such, you're going to see uh, a lot of missed opportunities. Uh, though blacks will be in a better position, uh, ultimately at the end of Reconstruction, uh, things are going to fall apart for blacks in the South um, and it's going to create and set up 50, 60 years of plight that's going to only be ended uh, with the Civil Right Movement that we will talk about in the spring semester course. Uh, but just understand, these are problems that can have been avoided uh, that will be failed to be resolved. Um, have a good day.